I'ma drink till I can't stand up if I want to Cause last time I checked, I was grown love bugs you have now tuned in to my basketball wives recap i was gonna say the episode but i don't remember the episode recap guys be sure to subscribe to this channel if you have not yet done so also be sure to share this video on facebook google twitter wherever you like to share videos and don't forget to check out my other channel because i will be doing guess what love and hip-hop reviews for the reunion on that channel some more love tv check it out okay so let's get into this recap. It wasn't really an amazing episode. It was it kind of felt like a filler episode in a way. Because it was nothing too exciting that happened. I don't know. I guess I'm getting kind of over them. They just do such childish things. It's like yesterday we're enemies, today we're friends. It kind of reminds me of elementary school. And I know some of you guys are kind of over it as well. But we're still going to recap this. And we're going to rock this monkey out. So Megan and Brandy, they're starting to bond again. See, this is what I talk about. Yesterday they were enemies, today they're friends. They're bonding and that's all because they both crossed paths with Craze Jackie. So they have something mutual that they can talk about. So they cool now. So anyways, Megan, she comes up with this idea that she wants to have them all do something. And her idea is going to be for them to do dodgeball. Hmm. Okay, interesting. And she feels that it would be good because then they could all beat up and on Jackie and just kind of throw balls at each other and get out whatever kind of animosity, hostility, whatever they feeling inside of them, they could just get it out. Megan, she, well, Jackie, she's talking to Shawnee. She tells her that she got a phone call from Megan and Megan told her to meet up with her and make sure she got sneakers on. So she thinking in her head, hold on. We've got to get ready because it's about to be fight night. I'm a light fight night. It's about to be crazy. She about to she about to have to put on that Vaseline and get all ready because you never know what's going to happen. Because remember the last time they seen each other, she spit on her. So she might want to retaliate. You never know. So she like, y'all, Shawnee, I want you to come. You know, she wants her back up. She wants to make sure she's good and she got people on her side. Jackie, she be doing the most. I'm sorry. For a grown lady, she be doing the most. And did I tell y'all I seen her? I seen her like two years ago or a year ago. I think it was two years ago at IMATS. I mean, she's, she was pretty cool in person, but man, she be, she be doing the most on this show. Anyway, so Megan, she meets Malaysia. And that's when she ended up also telling Malaysia about this idea that she had about the whole dodgeball situation and Millie's was just looking at her like whatever okay <coughs> excuse me so Drea she comes late to the whole dodgeball event that they're having and then she decides that she doesn't want to play because there are people that she doesn't like there oh I'm gonna take a drink for this one sorry I was being a fatty I was eating something and then it just all was going down the wrong kind of ways so yeah, she walks away and she goes into the parking lot and she's acting like a little kid because she's waiting for somebody to come after her and she's upset because like nobody came after her. She was literally waiting like, who's coming? What's going on? You know, I'm just like, yo, I, I can't. I can't deal with people like that. Like, I can't baby people because you're a grown-up. At the end of the day, for me, personally, I have a child. So, that's the only person that I would baby. And I don't even like to baby him too much because he's getting older. You know what I'm saying? So, for them to baby a grown woman, I, I guess that's why I don't have many friends. Because I don't like to baby people. So, anyways, that happened. And then Angel was the only person, I guess that's her real friend, as she says, that comes out like, oh, Drea, why are you not coming inside? And then she starts talking a little shady about Megan. But then when she says Megan coming, she's like, oh, I was trying to get her come. No, you was just talking about Megan. And then you wanted to stop because you didn't want Megan to know that you was talking about her. Like, if you want to do something, be real about it, you know, because she's going to see it eventually if y'all have a reunion episode anyway. <laughs> you know I mean, you know what I'm saying? Brandy and Malaysia... They go to get spray tans, and to be honest, I didn't even know the black people really spray tan. I mean, I, I didn't feel like they were that light to be spray tanning, but I guess it was that certain glow that they both wanted. But it, I don't even know if Malaysia did it. I know Brandy did it, but I'm like, 
why not? This is the event y'all come up with? Like, for real? Y'all couldn't go to the spa or something? Oh, I guess because they went to the spa a few episodes ago and they couldn't do that again. It was just dumb. But anyways, they start talking and they're like, yo, Drea, she's, uh, she has a bad attitude and she's a bad friend. So they're seeing more and more that Drea is not such a good person and maybe, perhaps, they should kind of distance themselves from her. Shawnee invites the ladies to a dance class so they could pop it, pop Drop a lot. Oh, you know, so they could do the darn thing. And Jackie, let me tell you something. Jackie was doing her thing. She was doing shit called Granny Poppin'. Yeah, she was popping her little booty like it was the biggest booty on the planet. She was loving it. She was like, yes. And she had her little drink in there too, her little cognac. She was ready, she was prepared. She had her little glass, and let me tell y'all, when I went to Atlantic City, I did the same thing. I had one of these glasses right up in my bag, because I was like, it's my birthday, and I am not walking around with no little plastic glass. And I do that almost everywhere that I go, if, especially if it's family or some place where I know they're going to have plastic cups. I will walk around with my little nice glass, because I'm going to be fancy. And that's just <laughs> so you know I can't even blame her for walking around with her little baby glass I need to get one like that so I don't be having this big one all the time but yeah that's exactly what she did she was she got her little drink on this is why they think she an alcoholic cuz she got her drinks everywhere she go but at the end of the day she got to promote her liquor she even gave gave each and every one of them a bottle of liquor to go home with Brandy and her husband they're talking on Skype and he's talking about he's coming over there and she's like you coming where like she's trying to be tough but at the end of the day it's still hurting her because you know people can only do what you allow them to do and I, I commend her for being strong but the only thing is that there's right now there's no end date to her kind of pushing him away and at the end of the day you pushing him away might push him into the arms of the next person like at least he's trying to come back. It's, it, this situation with her is really tough because if you let him come back too easily, then he'll be like, you know what, she's a doormat. I can do this whenever and she's going to take me back. And that's just how it is. But if you, but if you stay strong, you're tough, you show him, yo, I'm the boss. You're not coming back up in this place just like that just because you're the breadwinner or whatever. It doesn't mean that you're going to come up in here even though you disrespected the family that you care so much about. That could push him into the arms of the next person and just make him cheat even more. Because they have needs as well. So it's it's a complicated situation. I think that they should definitely try to do more counseling and things like that in order to try to resolve their relationship. Because you can tell they both want it to work, but I feel like they're going about it kind of wrong. Um, what else happened? So Jackie and Brandy... Brandy they're finally planning this cancer event that they're doing. And guys, I am doing the cancer walk here in New York. If you are interested, definitely you can send me a message or something. We can work it out. We'll do a meetup. You can join my team. And we will be walking for a great cause in October. So they're doing the cancer event. And you can tell that Jackie was offended by all the things that Brandy had said about her having knock off this and things weren't authentic or real or whatever because all of a sudden you see she whip out some receipts talking about some oh this is for my Rolex this is for my bag like you know just showing her all these things she was laughing it off but she was still making sure she showed those receipts because I guess she didn't want that on record saying that she wears fake stuff and buys fake things it's funny how people could do that you know a lot of truth is said in jest as I heard Eminem say, and it's a saying, you know, it's a very popular saying, but I, I first, when I was younger, I heard Eminem say it. How ironic is that, right? Lena Drea reveals to Brandy and Malaysia that she doesn't like Megan. They're like, um, no, no crap. Like, hello, we already knew that. And she's like, well, I don't really feel comfortable hanging out with her, and I don't like the fact that you guys hang out with her either. Here we go back to the elementary school business that I was telling all you about because how the hell are you going to say that you don't want them hanging out with somebody that's your arch, arch enemy when you did the same thing? When they wasn't messing with Jackie like that, she was the first person trying to hang out with Jackie and trying to get them all to do something. She's the one that got the whole cancer event popping. She's the one that got Malaysia talking to Jackie again. You know, and it's, it's just, Drea's crazy. I mean, she's, she didn't... Freaking Jackie deserve each other because both of them is crazy. They don't make any sense. They do one thing and say another. It's like they just trying to get ratings or something. They just, ugh, I can't with them. I can't. 
And that was pretty much the gist of the whole freaking episode. Super fast. What? We didn't even hit 10 minutes until right now. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to stay fabulous, live free, and soar limitless. I'll see you in the next one. Laters.